Hello, we're going to talk to you today about one of our favourite subjects, booze, alcohol. Now, we've got a double whammy at the moment, we've got lockdown, of course we know that is uh, encouraging people to drink a lot more and then it's also the festive season when we tend to overindulge. Quick stats, HMRC, which is the UK's tax collection body, estimates they're going to get an extra £1.1 billion in revenue from alcohol sales, which is quite staggering when you consider most pubs and bars have been shut for long parts of the year. Uh, and there's also a stat out that every extra week in lockdown increases alcohol consumption by a fifth. I'm sure, like many of you, uh, you're finding it a little bit tricky. We're going to give you um, three reasons why alcohol can hamper your progress and three strategies to help deal with it. We are indeed. Before James dives in here, I just want to say actually, what we're not saying is don't drink alcohol together. We're not, this is not one of those preachy videos. We like a little tip for ourselves. But what we also know is that actually, mentally, physically, and emotionally, it does negatively impact your life. So we're going to just go through some tips and tricks and use some strategies on how to reduce it a bit. Okay, so here we go. Three three ways it could be impacting you. Well, the first one on your body goals. Alcohol is effectively an empty calorie. There's no nutritional value to it besides the energy that it's putting in. It's high sugar, it's high calorie. So if you're drinking more and having your normal diet, then of course you're in a calorie surplus, more likely to put on weight. Number two, it has a fascinating effect on our metabolism and our hormones. So the alcohol, uh, the body will recognize the alcohol as a toxin and attempt to expel it first, meaning you'll prioritize it in the metabolism cue. So if you're drinking and eating, chances are that food is more likely to be laid down as fat and the body is trying to clear the alcohol. You're also likely to eat more as alcohol has a suppressant effect on the hormone leptin, which sends a signal I'm full to the brain when we eat. Exactly. So that could be bad when you be, when you have lots of beers. Bad idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Third um, way is mood. Third way is mood. Obviously, um, there is huge links to um, alcohol and depression and anxiety and you know, really negatively impacting your mood. So, especially with the world the way it is right now, we really, really suggest that you look at how much you're drinking just to actually manage your emotions and your mood. Um, also, what we see with clients a lot is that they are drinking um, alcohol in order to manage their stress levels, especially at night. The problem is you're using that to relax yourself, but actually alcohol is a stimulant, so you're stimulating yourself before you go to bed, and that is hindering and hankering your sleep, which will not be helping on your mood or your body goals. No, so those are the negative. Here are three tips to dealing with it. So, plan, 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 okay? You must plan. So on a Sunday, this is what we say to our clients, on a Sunday, have a think about what nights you're gonna drink in the week and how much you're gonna drink in the week. So put it up on a board, put it up on a calendar and make sure you stick to it. You're making yourself accountable. The other way is to understand your trigger. So this is all around emotions. A lot of the times this is just a habit. Most of our things in life are just born out of habit. So actually understand what the emotional trigger is and then do a pattern interrupt. So when you know the trigger, think, is this taking me towards my goal or away from my goal? And do something else. One of the tips we say to our clients is have a jar full of other things that you could do. You know, paint your nails. Yes, you guys as well. Paint your nails, um, call a friend, go out for a walk. Have that in a jar, the pattern interrupt of actually not going for the alcoholic drink and going into the jar and picking something out there is normally enough to just shift your perspective. Now, of course, you probably are gonna end up drinking at some point out and about, so what should you do then? Go for the better options, which are lower sugar, low calories. So that is clear spirits like gin and vodka with a low calorie mixer, like a soda water with a squeeze of fresh lime or a low calorie tonic, or drier white wines, sparkling wines. And finally, the old uh, method we got taught when we were young of alternating your alcohol yes. with a glass of water will pay dividends. We hope Thank that helps. Take care.